Welcome back to another Nature Dates, this time with Ellen. Hello. Would you like to describe what you do on YouTube? Um, I'm Ellen, Ellen Rose, and uh, I've got a little vloggy channel where I talk about things and stuff. And then also my day job is I work over on Outside Extra talking about video games. You do. Yeah. And from video games to the real world. Wow, this is this is just like Red Dead Redemption with all the wildlife and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I know nothing about video games, but I do know about birds. Yeah. Transition. Uh, we're at the London Wetland Centre. Thank you for letting us have permission to film here. Um, just to go bird watching. It's going to be winter bird watching, so there's going to be some interesting stuff around. Again, we're underneath the Heathrow flight path. Ignore that. On a scale of one to ten, how much do you know about birds? Uh, probably about like a five. Okay, that's good. Like, we can work with a five. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see what we can do. Hi, two quick things. One, if you can't tell by the woolly hats and the massive puffer jacket I'm wearing, this video was filmed in January in that sweet, sweet time before COVID. So don't worry about any of that. Second thing is this video is sponsored, yes, I'm getting paid, by Magellan TV. They are a streaming service like Netflix, but they specialize in science and history documentaries. They've actually got the largest collection of science documentaries anywhere. Many of them are in 4K and you can watch it on your mobile, computer, or on your TV. And I was watching the other night and I managed to find the Science of Bubbles by bubble scientist Helen Chertsky. This is a documentary that was broadcast on the BBC years ago and I missed it and it had great reviews and I've not been able to find it anywhere but I found it in Magellan TV's catalogue and it was such a good documentary. Cannot recommend it enough. So you know how these things work. If you go to try.magellantv.com slash Sally LePage you get a one month free trial. And I checked for you, you can cancel your membership at any time. And that means that you can support the financial stability of this channel, because this is how I pay for the channel, by watching science documentaries for free. If that's not a win-win, I don't know what is. So thank you so much Magellan TV and back to the Wetland Center. So we're in a hide. <laughs> so yes, we're going to be doing our best David Attenborough. Yes. And here you can see the bird life of the wetlands. Do you know what the black ones are? Are they cormorants? They are cormorants. And they're not very good at, um, their, their wings aren't very waterproof, so they have to stand there and dry their wings. And I remember being, I was up on the Yorkshire coast yeah. and it was pouring with rain, huge waves. And I just remember seeing kind of out at sea at this one rocky outcrop, this one cormorant desperately trying to like dry its wings. Yeah. It was just stuck there. Oh, I do. So what I'd really love to see mm. is a bitter. Mm. But I'll tell you now, they are the most camouflaged birds you have ever seen. Like I have had people at the centre point them out to me yeah. when they're like 10 metres away. Yeah and you can be staring like at it. And they're big birds, they're like a small heron. Oh wow. But they are exactly the, the same colour as the reeds. Oh wow. So that's why we come to this hide first, because this morning someone has seen bitterns in those reeds. And that is a good tip for bird watching. See what other people have seen <laughs> and chat to other people and you're more likely to see stuff. That one straight ahead of us that's black with a white beak. Oh, it's a moorhen. It's the other one. The other one. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, what is it? It's very cute. Coot. Yes, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I always used to get moorhens and coots mixed up. Yeah. But a moorhen has a red oh. beak, whereas a coot has a white beak. Mm. There you go. Oh really? Which oh, patch? Um, from where, if you look at the raft, hmm. 
go right over the back at the end of where all the reeds are. Yeah. There's a board. You just go to the left. Oh wow, right over there. Yeah, it's just above the end of that little island. But I'm not sure whether it's a rock. It could be that thing. Mm. That is bitten shaped and sized. <laughs> but Is a SETI's warbler, I think. Oh, the sound. <laughs> yeah. Geese. Geese. I know them. They're yes. Canada geese. Canada geese. Can Canada geese. Canada geese. Everyone's really scared of Canada geese. I don't yeah. know why. I think they've got really pretty eyes. I love. Yeah, I love geese. I think like. It's so because because geese are kind of mean. I mean, there's there's an entire video game out that came last came out Untitled last year. Untitled Goose Game. Goose yes. game. <laughs> the only video game I have played in the last year. Yeah, and it, it's brilliant. Yeah, it just encapsulates everything that I love about geese. Mm -hmm. It's just like the way that they walk, the the good honk noise that they make, yes. their honky. little puffy puffy chests, yes. Uh, yes. and the way they kind of the wiggle. waddle is the great. Waddle. And you it's can't walk like, particularly fast. No. And when they run, <laughs> <laughs> it's the good like flap 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 yeah, noise yeah, yeah, on the yeah. like, their feet. It's great. And it, it's really. It's and it's something so I want in a video game. Yeah. Which is animals. Animals. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So there are two ducks swimming. Oh, yeah. Left to right. Oh wow, their bills are really weird. Like they they're amazing. Are. So they're called shovelers because of their, beaks. their flat beaks. Um, so you've got a male and a female there. Yeah. And yeah, they've got almost like spoon-shaped beaks. They look like something out of like Alice in Wonderland. Mm-hmm. And there are two types of ducks. You've got. Um, Dabbling ducks and diving ducks. Mm. So dabbling ducks are like mallards, so they go heads down, thumbs up, mm -hmm. and, and then they just up tails all exactly, and then they just dabble around. Yeah. And then you got the diving ducks, which will be like whoosh, you yeah. go straight down, and you just see this plop, and then they reappear somewhere. And so there are so many different species of duck. Though. Yeah, I was looking it up. Ducks are a paraphyletic group, which means that what we call a duck. It's everything in this one family that isn't a swan or a goose. Right. So that's a lot of that's birds. Some, that's a lot of ducks. Yeah. Or a lot of ducks. At home, duck along every time we say duck. <laughs> duck. <laughs> Do you often go bird watching? No, but I'm when I'm walking around London because yeah. you, you do find actually like there's a fair amount of different bird species yes. in a city, yeah. um, and I'll always like look out for. We've got bird feeders at home and things like oh, that. Nice. So um, yeah, like we we kind of share them with our neighbour. Yeah. <laughs> We've got one like right in the yeah. middle, um, and yeah, no, it's really nice. I like I can I can sit and like watch birds just flying around for ages. Yeah. They're cute. So one of the fun things about birding, mm. there's so much of it you do by listening and not just by looking. Mm -hmm. Especially if you've got trees around, like those, those are, are very obviously kind of geese yeah. that are flying past. But there's also so that, yeah. <laughs> that is a uh, blue tip call. Yeah. That is a slightly angry blackbird. Yes. Is a Boeing 747 coming from Heathrow? Yeah. Yeah, that's a prominent one in this <laughs> neck of the woods. <laughs> and in winter, you get mixed flocks of tits. So lots of different types of tits that yeah. all come together. Yeah. Be happy together. Oh, that's good. I know. Because they're so small, they like to huddle up. You don't want to have cold tits. No, no, you really don't. Otherwise, you'll get blue tits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so
so many innuendos in this picture. Yeah. It's great. That is a teal. What teal? Ah. So that's a male teal. Oh yeah, because they've got the colour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colour. and they've got a bar on their wing as well. So you know, like how mallards. Have a bar on their yes. Wing. These have a teal one instead of a purple one. Oh, of course. And yeah. It's the bird that gives its name to the colour, not the other way around. So that's not the neither. original teal. I really do like a teal. I love teal as well. Oh, it's so pretty. They are gorgeous. And I was here yesterday as well, and I may have managed to get some rather saucy footage of two teals having sex. <laughs> it was, I mean, compared to normal mallard sex, it was very friendly. There was yeah. only one male and one female. She did look a little bit like she was being drowned, but she was fine afterwards. <laughs> Nothing like your normal mallard sex. No. Even when I came here for the first time, I didn't grow up around wetlands, so I didn't know half the birds. I know the garden birds and the field mm -hmm. birds and the countryside birds, but there's so bloody many of them. You mm -hmm. kind of got to pick a few colourful ones, and like, I've seen that. Yeah, you and get then used next to it. Time, and then like, there's, yeah. another one. there's another one. Because it could be a bit overwhelming. Yeah. Like, even for me when I first came here, as a qualified biologist with a large passion for wildlife. Yeah. I was like, I don't know what half of these are. Yeah. I can tell the geese and the moorhens and the coots, but there's so many different types of ducks. Yeah. Here. Usually people are quite nice though and they'll tell you. Oh yeah. That thing. In front of that, there's a bird preening in the water. Um, that's very iconically black and very strong black, white, black. Yes. Um, if you have a look at that. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah He's got like, like a quiff. Red. Yeah, so that's a tufted duck. Tufted duck. Yeah, not Aww. a quiffed duck, but a tufted duck. And if you look closely, it's got the most brilliant orange eye. Yes. Oh, wow. So that is a male tufted duck. And they're one of the migrant species. Mm -hmm. So, although we have a small number in the UK normally, we get so many coming over to the UK to wetlands in the winter that the UK becomes a really important site for them, like an internationally important site for them in the winter. And they're just very pretty birds. Yeah. Oh, it's a shoveler. It is. Hey, I'm learning. And it's a female <laughs> shoveler as well, yeah. so that's a tricky one. Oh, oh, we've got another standoff here. These two, oh. they're going for it, they're going for each other. <laughs> Tiny Mexican standoff. <laughs> oh, oh see the back. Further back on the grass, they're two attacking each other. Oh god, yeah, 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 over there. Oh my gosh, they're going for it. <laughs> it's all kicking off. Yeah. Leave it, Dave. He's not worth it. <laughs> oh, and I was talking about something. What have you swatted? Moss pepper and the bittern. The bittern? Where's that? <laughs> we caught the faintest of glimpses in the morning. So, whereabouts? I'm now looking for the wood straight across to the reeds. Yeah. The cream, the round disc. Yes. We can kind of drop straight there. In that bit there. Yeah. It's comes in and out. Ah, yes. Ah, yeah. Oh, I saw movement. Is. Yeah. Oh, like I saw, I saw like a head movement, but I didn't like actually see what it was. I was just like, something moves, it's there. 
Have a look. You can actually see it. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, oh wow, it is camouflage. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Wow. It is one of those, it's taking up such a large point in the field of view, but it still yeah. takes you forever to see it. Right, so unless it still kind of goes into it. Yeah. Like, oh, it <laughs> Which means we've seen a bit of Well, thank you so much. No for joining worries. me on this nature date. Thanks for having me. It's yeah. been great. It's turned into a nice day as well. It's really, yeah, which really is nice good. and sunny and warm. Actually. Did you have a favourite bird? Oh, I really did like the shovelers. Mm -hmm. I thought they were lovely, but I, I really love the teals. Yes. Because they're just so pretty. And they are. I love, I love teal. It's yeah. like a great it, colour. It, it, it's a great it's colour. It's a great colour. Cool. Cute ducks. So, see you for another nature date at some point. Bye.